One of the most interesting questions I think they have is what, what is their next step in terms of determining whether or not they're able to go on and have a family of their own. And uh, we're able to talk about some of the options that they have, something as simple as seeing a physician and maybe getting a referral to a fertility clinic to have a diagnostic test done, something as simple as a semen assessment to make sure that they are producing sperm in their, in their ejaculates. One of the falsehoods is that uh, perhaps treatments won't have an effect on fertility and often uh, it's too late once we find out after the fact that a, a, a treatment has had a negative effect. So I think one of the important things that we need to increase the awareness about the options for fertility preservation, especially for young men, it's a relatively easy procedure, it's a relatively inexpensive procedure and it's really a, a great thing to have as a backup or an insurance so that if they do have long-term damaging effects of the treatment that they can have uh, a bank sample to fall back on and, and, and have that as a, as a second option. The first step you should do is, is uh, get a referral to a, a clinic to get a semen assessment and that semen assessment will determine what your next step is. So it, depending on the results of that semen assessment, a specialist can take a look at that and give you some great advice as to what needs to be done as, as part of the next step.